it may seem, but there are only three African-American quarterbacks to be able to win the Super Bowl ever. Doug Williams in 1988 with the Redskins, Super Bowl 23. Russell Wilson in 2014 with the Seattle Seahawks, and Patrick Mahomes in 2019 with the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, <laughs> many don't consider Patrick Mahomes as being black but because he's mixed, but uh, black is a predominantly uh, dominant race when it comes to having an uh, interracial uh, person. So you, if you have half black, that would be <laughs> dominantly what you would be called as black. Right. So do you think the person that we're looking at in this picture takes any of that serious because out of (laughs) all of these years that the NFL has existed football has existed there have only been three black men to win the Super Bowl three so Cam Newton who just I mean just got released cut by the Patriots was one of those people that we considered maybe one day could win a Super Bowl, but people are not taking them serious. So the link for this article will be right below in the description. Now, Cam Newton wore one of his <laughs> crazy outfits in his most recent interviews, and he admitted to spending millions of dollars on clothes he's only worn, guess what, once. Once, people. So he sat down with his father, Cecil Newton Sr., to talk about being cut from the Patriots. And he talked about how he was a distraction probably to the team. That's why he was being cut. This dude uh, <laughs> had on like Aladdin looking pants and I don't know what the hell was on his head. It looked like our Christmas tree was growing out of it. And social media has no chill. Uh, Daddy Hat Daddy tweeted out, I thought Cam Newton was rocking an antler hat for a second. <laughs> Wow. Uh, WG Snuffy tweeted out, I love Cam very much in his hat. And hair in this video alone totally support his distraction theory. Okay. <laughs> uh, Cassandra tweeted out, There are many reasons why I'm not an NFL GM. But the biggest one is I would have released Cam Newton the second he walked into my office wearing that hat. <laughs> wow. Cam said, (laughs) the reason they released me is because indirectly I was going to be a distraction without being the starter. Just my aura, that's my gift and my curse. When you bring uh, Cam Newton to your facility and your franchise, people are interested. No, Cam, they release you because of your numbers. Numbers don't lie. You didn't produce with the Patriots the numbers that a Tom Brady produced. Simple! (laughs) Uh, Kenny tweeted out Cam News hair coming out like group. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, man, that's crazy. Um, Mandalay Bay tweeted out Cam News hat game is unparalleled. Uh, all jokes aside, we can agree on one thing Cam Newton is uh, one of the greatest quarterbacks, in my opinion, of all time, easily top 100. But in this game called NFL football, you're only as good as your last Super Bowl. And the last Super Bowl Cam Newton was in, he started to cry like a little bitch because he lost and he never gained his confidence back. Yeah. There's one thing Cam Newton has in common with uh, the likes of a... Terrell Owens. They both were very arrogant, cocky, flamboyant, um, very outlandish when it comes to fashion. And more importantly, they both went to the Super Bowl and lost and bitched and complained about it. (laughs) But they both had these I'm Superman personalities. Great athletes talked a lot of smack but here's the thing about when you are a great athlete and you talk a lot of junk if you don't win you look a hundred times as weak for losing 
you look very weak because it makes you look like you didn't back up any of that shit you said that you was about. I wish Cam the best. Maybe this is the end for him because he's not getting any younger. But let's not hope this is the last season. Because Cam has already said he has plenty of football left. Like this video, leave your comments, share this on Instagram, YouTube, as well as Facebook. More importantly, subscribe.